Is Blue Beetle another strike for DC, or will they finally hit their first home run of the year? Hey everyone, I'm Josh Titan, bringing you back another review. Today we're going to be talking about Blue Beetle. This is DC's newest film after they just flopped with The Flash. And this one is actually the, their first Latino-led superhero film, and that's actually pretty cool. And Zolo is basically the lead of this film. He's from Cobra Kai. That's where I first saw him. I think he's a great actor, though. So I was very excited to see him in this role. And Blue Beetle takes us on the role of Jaime Reyes as he suddenly finds himself in possession of the Scarab. When the Scarab chooses Jaime to be its symbolic host, he's bestowed with an incredible suit of armor that's capable of extraordinary and unpredictable powers forever changing his destiny as he becomes the superhero Blue Beetle. All right, before I get into my main thoughts on the movie Blue Beetle, I just want to preface that I don't really know Blue Beetle as a character that well. I did watch all the DC animated movies like the 52 universe uh, earlier this year, and he was in that for a little bit, but not really too much, so I didn't really get attached to the character. Never read any of his comics, never seen Injustice, so I'm really kind of like, this is kind of like my fresh start with this character and so when i first saw the trailers i was actually pretty interested a lot of people said the trailers looked bad but i thought they looked pretty good and i really went into this movie with pretty open expectations i didn't know what i was gonna get because i was kind of confused you know james gunn says this is dc dc's first character but not the first movie so it's really confusing <laughs> it's like so confusing if this character is gonna be in james gunn's new dcu with uh, his new superman uh, in Superman Legacy, so I don't really know what's going on with that, but I will say that Blue Beetle actually surprised me. I think that it's a really good superhero movie, and I think it might be DC's best superhero film of the year. I know that's not saying much, but I did enjoy The Flash a little bit. Shazam! Fury of the Gods was just fine. It was like really nothing. It has its moments, but I think this one has a lot of really good parts to it, and I, I love like what they're trying to do with Blue Beetle, and I love Zolo. I think uh, Zolo is like the best part of this cast. I think he's growing as an actor so much from every season of Cobra Kai to this. And you know, I really am a big fan of Cobra Kai, so I was glad to see him cast here, as I said. And he was excellent here. I thought he was really great. He displays a lot of charisma, energy, and a lot of emotion in this role. So props to him for that. He did really great here. Another standout here is Bruna Marquezini. Uh, she played Jenny Cord, the daughter of Ted Cord, which I didn't know who that was, Ted Cord before watching the movie, but it's pretty cool, interesting, like, character that they're gonna explore more, hopefully, and I thought she played an amazing Jenny Cord, you know, I didn't know of Jenny Cord before this movie either, I thought she was awesome, I thought she had great chemistry with Zolo in many scenes, and I really did love her character in the end, so we have two great performances by them, and George Lopez is another one of my favorites in here, he's just the fun, cool uncle of this movie, and he provides for some good, uh, comedic, relief just like you know it's george lopez he, he's great we all love george lopez he's a, he's a classic you know we all love him and i really do think that the best parts of this movie are with the whole family and the dynamics of them and you know there's a big emotional turn in the second and basically the uh the second act of the movie and i thought that those emotional moments with this family really worked a lot and yeah you're going into it this is a superhero movie and it's going to be a lot of action a lot of vfx and I thought that the action was actually pretty good and the VFX looked pretty good during the movie. I only thought during a little bit of it, it looked kind of bad. It looked kind of like Power, Angel, Power Rangers-ish CGI. So I thought that just a little bit is bad, but I think like 75, 85% of the CGI works pretty well when they're fighting. And then you have that big third act, which is just very formulaic. And it's just a big superhero fight, 1v1 uh, to the death and all that but you know i feel like the first and second act really works so well in this movie that's why i really enjoyed a lot the third act as i said gets very formulaic it's just a very superhero fight-esque kind of act but i think it wraps it all together in those last 15 minutes very well with some very good uh family dynamics and emotion our villain here is carapax i don't know who that guy was before this movie as i said is he a big blue beetle villain i don't know and then we have victoria cord who's also a secondary villain I didn't really care about these cute characters. That's a big complaint for me on this movie. I feel like if you had a, a villain that I could have emotionally invested in during the whole movie, then I think this movie would have been so much better. But I only emotionally connected with Carapax uh, like the last 15 minutes of the movie. Other than that, I didn't care about his character. And I thought that he was just kind of there to be the villain of the movie. And Victoria Cord, I thought she was a really annoying character. Like every time she came on screen, I could care less about what she's saying 
because it's just one of those characters that you don't need in this movie but you have to for like more exposition on past events of like ted cord and the cord family but honestly i hated that character one of the worst parts of the movie for me and i did see this in theaters uh like what what else am i supposed to do i'm not going to pirate the movie and i was kind of sad that there's not a lot of people seeing this movie and i think it's so good i think this one is worth seeing in theaters it was originally meant to come out on Max as just a streaming movie. I think that's just a mistake. I think it looks so much better than a streaming movie these days. Because I think every streaming movie I see is bad. But this one's really good. So I'm happy that it got promoted to theaters. And as I said, I would love to see Blue Beetle come back again in this new DCU that James Gunn is building. Because I really did love Jaime Reyes as a character. I loved his family. And I love Zolo playing him. Zolo is a great actor, as I said. The runtime is about 2 hours and 7 minutes. About like 1 hour and 55 if you take out credits. And I think it's paced pretty well. It's a pretty short movie for a superhero movie. Because superhero movies right now are getting pretty long. And I think it's paced very well for an origin style movie. A lot of people will compare it to like Iron Man or Spidey. But, you know, I think it does have some, like, kind of resemblances with those characters. But I think it really makes it its own character here, which I really did enjoy. And I love the origin. I do really have a soft spot for superhero origin stories. And I feel like this one does a lot right. But the villains are just a very weak part of the movie for me. I think that this movie works a lot in the first two acts. But the third act does let you down just a little bit. But I still think it, it all just works so well. And all, it all just combines together in that ending to make a very good ending. It does have two post credit scenes. I'm not going to say what they are. The first one, you could probably guess what it is while you're watching the movie. The second one is just a little gag and you don't really have to stay for it. So you can just leave it to, after the first one, to be honest. But overall, Blue Beetle was a pleasant surprise. And I hope more people go to see this. It's probably not going to do well box office wise. We'll talk about that on Box with Josh later on on Sunday. But man, I really had a fun time with this. So I'm going to give Blue Beetle a 7 out of 10. That's pretty surprising. I didn't know. I didn't think it was going to get above a 6, but I gave it a 7. So I hope you guys go see this one. It's a very fun time in the theater. Zolo is amazing. Other cast members are also great. The practical suit, the practical suit is awesome in my opinion. I love the effects of it. So make sure you guys like this video if you liked my review. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.